Uh, the report uh, today in your materials highlights what I believe is now a perennial problem for the courts, the counties, the residents of California, and in particular the state funding models for fine and fee revenue. And it also uh, uh, highlights the, the associated challenges of uncollected debt. This particular sh report shows that in the past year, the amount of revenues collected was $1.4 billion off of California's fine fee and penalty system. That is actually a decrease and represents now a year-over-year -year decrease from a peak of $2 billion at one point, and last year it was $1.5 billion. And so another $100 million has eroded from California's fine and fee system. Simultaneously, the, the report reports out that the total outstanding delinquent debt owed to California through this system uh, is now seven times more than the amount we're bringing in, and that number now stands at $10.6 billion. If you look back over the course of the last 10 years, that $10.6 billion 10 years ago was $5 billion in uncollected debt. These two trend lines uh, are proposed kind of an ominous prospect for California about the durability and sustainability of a criminal fine fee and penalty system uh, as a revenue stream in California. There were a number of bills, I believe it was more than 10, it could have been 11 or 14, uh, that were proposed last year in the legislature. I expect we will see more bills attempting to rectify this. It is a subject of discussion that is occurring in the Sacramento uh, Beltway in the Capitol to try and address this particular issue. Uh, I think everybody uh, knows about this subject to some extent. Uh, in the trial courts, uh, and I expect it will be an issue that will need to be addressed uh, because of the trend lines uh, appear to be continuing in the direction that they are. So I hate to close on that sobering note, uh, but it is also an optimistic note that we may have an opportunity to revisit how it is that the funding structure of California operates, as well as the social justice issues that are operating underneath, behind, and should actually be put in front of this particular issue related to how states actually generate revenue and fund valuable, vital state uh, services. And with that,